This strat will win you every single round on server defense on canal. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Before I get into this video, I do want to let you all know I am now uploading on my Instagram and TikTok a lot more often now, trying to do it daily if I can, at least it's once every two days. So make sure you guys go follow that. And I now have a Christian page that I've made, which is also in the description if you are interested in that. But anyways, without further ado, let's get right into this video. The first part of the strat is the Mew Jammers. And this is basically the setup of the strat. So in this strat, you basically want to put Mew Jammers that will benefit you, right? So there's multiple different places to put them, but I'm going to show you guys where each one should go. So there are two ways you can do this mute strap. One way is if you're the only hardbridge in now, you obviously have to put two on the main wall. So start with the one facing the outer and the one facing pillbox. Then after that, move all the way over and put a mute jammer on the one that's facing red in red hallway. And then put a mute jammer at the top of green stairs. This will counter all the hardbridge and you don't have to worry about it at all. And you'll be able to play the mute jammers around the drones on green stairs. Now, if you do have a bandit or a Cade, you can change this up a little bit. Instead, you could put two mute jammers on the corner walls there, put a mute jammer on top of green like before, and put one extra one by a pillbox door. The pillbox door mute jammer itself counters a lot of intel. That's a very high traffic drone location from the red stairs and the pillbox itself. So countering that and being able to swing 90 with the drone is not being able to see you is extremely huge for this strat. The second part of the setup is the rotate and the angle. So the rotate I prefer to always get is the crouch rotate right here, as you guys can see on the screen. And then you guys also want to, and then you guys also want to set up an angle that looks all the way on the skybridge. If you guys look very closely, this angle completely sees on the skybridge, and I don't see anyone ever use this in ranks. So you'll definitely catch some people off guard with this. The last part of the strat and the most important part, obviously, is how you play it. So. The most vital thing about the strat is that you play extremely aggressive, but also you're thinking about how you're being aggressive. It's like, this strat is extremely useful for people who are passive aggressive. I'm extremely passive aggressive in Rainbow, like as in like, I pick and choose my moments when I need to be passive, when I need to be aggressive. If you want more, more information on that video, link is in the description down below. But basically, you have to be very specific in how you be aggressive. So you can swing the staircase with your SMG-11 if someone is in museum, or your shotgun, and basically destroy anyone who come, tries to come upstairs. You can also play 90, and I recommend that you guys play right next to the window that faces green wall, because when you do that, you're able to stay safe from the window. Obviously, you can hear anyone coming upstairs, and you're close enough to 90 that you'll win any gunfight you run into. That, and if someone does push a 90 hallway up red stairs or pillbox, you can swing it aggressively. If they get close enough, you can use Chotty. And if they're down the hallway, you can use MCG-11, which is an absolute turret if you know how to control the recoil. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what this strat looks like from an overhead perspective. Looking at this from an upper point of view, this strat is very, you guys see the significance of the map controller. So when you run this correctly, you control basically this entire section of the map. And that's a huge portion of the map, especially when you're on server. When you're on server, you're controlling a lot. So the main thing you want to be careful of, like the two biggest things, is the angle from this window, they can see to the edge of this door right by the wall. So you want to be playing here, right? From here you can watch 90 and you can also swing the window with your SMG or shotgun. And you also get a view down onto the staircase with your shotgun or SMG. Now the one careful thing, or the one thing you need to be careful of from here is 90. So from 90 someone can come all the way up red stairs they can loop around, if, if no one's watching this door, this angle, they can come across 90, get in and get a shot on you. That's why you have to play this carefully. I usually play extremely close to this window right here. I'll, I'll be listening to this staircase, right, at all times. But I'll be playing extremely close to this window, watching 90. And if I hear anybody or I get a call from my teammate that someone's pushing up, I'll immediately move close to 90 and I'll swing with SMG and I can get a free shot. And I've also gotten multiple shotgun kills swinging this as well. You just have to be aware that there's no one on this window. And the best way to do that is by breaking the glass on this window and this window. By doing that, if you have a good enough headset or just a decent headset, you can hear that if there's anybody out on this portion of the map, which you need to make sure no one's out here, because if someone is, they'll definitely catch you with your pants down and kill you. So if, they, if you there is a lot of heat here, like if someone starts stunning up these stairs or they take red hallway or they're like all in the windows and you need to get back to sight, go in through sight and immediately turn left. Play this area. Well, let me explain why. So from here, you can swing and play close to this door with your shoddy, which is basically free kills for you. And as you all saw earlier in the video, you can stand on top of this table 
you get a very long angle all the way on the sky bridge and you can look underneath the rotate that goes behind in the site even if there's holes on this wall you can look in the site. there's many different uh, angles you can hold from being in this position while still being able to play close on this door and denying entry here now your mute jammers come into play by being on this wall right now if you got off this position and let's say you didn't put a mute jammer here because you were playing it to shoot stuff off the wall and they do get something on the wall then you're screwed that's the one toss up when it comes to that mute jammer you have to be very careful i typically will put one here here and here and then the last one is debatable because usually they end up getting a bandit or cave if they don't then you kind of have to get main wall so then you have to get yours here here and here now the last one can either go here or here and there's the, the problem with that is that with it going here you don't have to worry about any hard reach right but drones can go up the stairs if you put one here though they can't drone you so i typically will always put one here and i'll play this wall if there's no hard reach but that simply just depends the last and final part of the strat that you have to worry about is counters now there are not many counters there are very few but they are very important to keep in mind so the first counter is ying or anyone with flashes so unless you have a Jaeger or a Mai that you team up with, they're gonna flash up those stairs or around 90 and you're basically screwed unless you run away. Another uh, counter are shield operators. Shield operators are gonna be very difficult to deal with. You do have a shoddy in SMG 11, so it's pretty good close quarters, so it's not hard to deal with them, but at the same time, it's kind of hard to deal with them. And then the last counter, which is kind of a lesser counter, is knock. Knock can come up those stairs very quietly and probably shoot you in the back of the head. But like I said, probably don't have to worry about those much. So just play, make sure you play this track correctly. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below any other videos you want to see in the future. Make sure you follow the TikTok and Instagram, links are both in the description. And hope you boys have a great day. I love you, Jesus loves you, and I'll see you boys in the next one. Peace out.